everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm in Minecraft, and this isn't just normal Minecraft. Welcome to the world of Pokemon with Pixelmon. I'm on with Kira here. I'm Hello. Hello, Kira. I'm starting this series for my channel. I will be on here. Sometimes I'll be on by myself. Sometimes someone will join me. Today, Kira is with me. Um, different friends of mine will join randomly. And we will be adventuring through this world of survival Pixelmon. I have gone ahead and built this little hut here. It, it's not big. It's not great. I've given me very little things. I haven't given myself anything particular or just some furnaces. Um, for friends, like with Kira here, I have a chest here filled with a few beds. So Kira, if you want to grab a bed and just plop it down so that you'll have a bed for the next night time, go ahead and do that. Just somewhere right like here. And Kira, I know you haven't played Pixelmon before. I have, just on a server. Oh, okay. So you have you know a little bit about it. Yeah. The basics of what's going to happen now is that we need to successfully survive. Now, I've given us a little bit of a start by building a little farm over there. Um, and that's literally it. So we'll have a supply of bread for food so that our hunger doesn't go down too much. And other than that, we really have to just start from scratch, Minecraft style. So every survival game starts with punching wood. The most boring part of the entire Let's Play. Let's punch some wood. <laughs> and we're going to hope that we can get to the point pretty early for us to be able to gather more Pokemon. Um, I have started the game with a Sobble, as you can see. Boom. I have my little level 5 Sobble. I don't know what... I don't know where Kira went, and I also don't know what he has. Chimchar. Oh, there you are. He apparently has a Chimchar. Why did you make a crafting bench? We have two of them inside the house. Because speed running. That's why. I guess that's fair. I will instead, I, in an attempt to save on a little bit of wood, I will run back to the house and use one of the pre-made ones. And I haven't really explored this server much. This is my brand new server. I do know there's a few of these little pits around where we spawned, which are full of stone, which is how I shall begin. Now, stone is actually going to be a big part of Pixelmon. Ooh, that is a score bunny. I want to leave that alone because I can't catch it. I would love to also have a score bunny. Also, it's a level 10, so it's stronger than my Sobble. Um, but stone is going to be a big deal because every Pokeball we make will need one piece of stone to build it. So I've gathered a little bit of stone. And now it's time for me to equip myself with some stone tools to get things started. So a stone pickaxe so I can mine iron, which will also be a big deal. And a stone axe. And a stone sword would not be of any help. Because there are no enemy mobs in this game. And I just yeah. fell in a pit. Thank you. So, that scar bunny. Ekans. Thank you. Kira is really yes. off doing his own thing. And he's okay with that. They can hear you, by the way, Kira. Like when you talk, what? it it should show. It should come through on the recording. I figured that. Yep. There we go. I now have 
about half a stack of stone. But what I really want to do is find some iron and go out searching for... Ooh. Oh, you're digging a hole. Okay. Yeah, you do yeah. that. I'm going to explore a little bit and see if I can't find any... Oh! Any of these trees, like this one. Boop. Apricorn. And a couple of berries. Now, unfortunately, this is a white apricorn, which is not going to help me. What I really want is red apricorns. But I have a white. Oh, here's a pink. New recipe unlocked. Okay. I will probably be using that recipe book quite a bit. Ooh. Hmm. I'm just kind of running around looking for some nearby apricorn trees, hopefully. Oh, here's another one that has a, another pink. Okay, so we got pink. Again, the ones that we really want are red. I keep finding berry bushes. Grab some more berries, random berries. And then I surprise myself by seeing our base again, and I'm like, oh, a village, and it's not a village. <laughs> I do not know where there is a village. A village is something we will have to find. But for now, we have no village. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so the machine furnace has been unlocked. The infuser has been unlocked. I don't know why it unlocked those. Okay. So I'm actually going to start us a little bit of a pseudo farm here for these apricorns. I'm going to start by... Oh! A Mareep wants to fight me. Okay. Mareep is an electric type, so this could go really badly. And it started with Thunder Wave. I am paralyzed. But I am currently pounding on it. Now, I'm not playing on spawning in revives or anything like that. I'm not playing on spawning in a healing table or like any of the... Okay, that's a thunder shock that came just a bit too late. There we go. We got some plants now. Those will grow up. My sobble is nearly dead. But that'll be fine. If my Sobble faints, I mean, it happens. It's not like I'm doing a one-and-done series. Partially because I don't think anyone would like to see that. Found a little bit of coal here. That'll be helpful for later. Kira is probably off underground finding all of the iron. Nope, I only got eight. That's a... Good start, actually, because with eight iron, I can make the basic anvil for our uh, crafting of Pokeballs. Okay. But it'll use up all eight, so we will need more iron or aluminum if you can find it. Although aluminum's not as good. Aluminum is basically a alternative to iron in almost any, every way. Okay. And I'm already incapable of running. Awesome. <laughs> hmm. 
and another white apricorn and some more berries and another pink apricorn why are there so many pink and white ones can we not get a red apricorn anywhere around here oh Fampy decide to fight I will actually I'm gonna try to run away yay okay so I got a black apricorn that's not useful but at least that means I'll be able to add black to our repertoire now obviously going out at night isn't a big deal right now because there's not going to be any zombies or creepers or anything to worry about unfortunately the screen will probably get dark and real quick what do I actually have my video settings on okay so they're on bright so you'll sh you should be able to see something I hope now I'm still just out looking for really much of anything on the surface there's a roly-coly so that's a nice one I got another black apricorn so for those of you who don't know in Pixelmon, you can craft Pokeballs. To do so, you have to go out and find apricorn plants to gather the necessary apricorns for each type of Pokeball. You then have to cook the apricorns, and the cooked ones can be used, finally, a red one. The cooked ones can be used in order to make Pokeball lids, which you then have to hammer into a Pokeball bottom to craft into a Pokeball. And now that I've found red ones, I'll get those planted and we'll start being able to grow red apricorns. And pretty soon we will hopefully have our own pokeballs of at the very least the basic type and maybe a few others assuming I find more apricorns around the place now yes I built that little house and yes I do plan on using it as a bit of a home base but I do not plan on us staying there indefinitely we will be moving around as different Pokemon appear in different environments. So staying in the house all day means we probably won't find very many. And I may have just found something else useful. I did indeed. We now have yellow apricorns. And here's a green one. So I didn't choose a specific seed. I didn't set anything in this world up beforehand. That's a Geodude. I'm probably, yep, dead. I didn't start us off with anything special other than the beds. And I basically have the whole thing set up in a way for us to survive. And as I said, I'm not going to be the only one coming on. And I'm not going to be the only one playing on this server. Kira has full access to the server. He's not opt or anything like I am. But he is able to get on said server. Hmm. Okay, I believe this... I think I found some sapphire. That's useful. Put the yellow in there. I may have to reorganize these. I have no idea which ones I just put down. Where? But hopefully they will grow up and start producing apricorns and then I'll be able to place more down 
and have little farms of each one. We also found some ruby. Okay, that's useful. Um, hmm. Um, I don't know what that is. Might be tin. It's probably aluminum. Oh, that's I meant aluminum. No, it's silicon. Oh, okay, so you got silicon. Oh, oh, this is interesting. I have unlocked a bunch of cosmetic stuff. We now have green cushion chairs and umbrellas and Pokemon rugs. These all look very interesting. And what's going on now? Oh, there we go. Lagged out there a little bit, but brand new server. It, it can happen. Button. I don't know what this is. Do you know what ores are in this? Um, I do not know all the ores, no. There's, this might be copper. Now that I'm thinking about it. I also have no idea where you are. Oh, it's just the crystal. Okay. Well, I'm at Y25. Okay, so you're down in this hole. Yeah. I kind of found Kira's little digging hole. It's got a roly coly in it. Ooh, I found a cave. Maybe there'll be iron in the cave. Hopefully. Um, I'm trying to find you in your weird labyrinth of directional corridors. You really need to put up signs. Yeah, I found some more. Oh, I just I just kept digging straight down. What's happening? I think this geodude is dying in a wall. Uh, I can't really do anything to help it because there it goes, it just died. And this is sapphire, okay. Can you actually mine the sapphire? Yeah, with a stone pick. Oh. I mine something that looked like iron and I couldn't, well, I, I shouldn't say mined, because it broke before I could get it. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so these will add more different I have 22 iron. Okay. And I just went into a cave. Okay. Uh, why don't you toss me your iron and I'll take, or we can both go back up if you'd rather. Yeah, I was going up. And it's starting to get to daybreak. Which hopefully means soon we'll be able to actually do some Pokemon related things. Oh, there's a magic carp on the map. So as you'll be able to see from my view, we have that little mini map in the top corner up there. That kind of shows where Pokemon and stuff are. Yep. You won't be able to see Kira's viewpoint, but that's okay. Why do you keep going through the chests? You know there's nothing in the chests. Uh, go ahead and start smelting up the iron. Okay, there's eight in there. I grabbed one of them so that I could get iron oh, okay. in like patterns up 
Okay, the anvil has now appeared. Okay. He has decided to place down in more furnaces. Okay. And I have just made an anvil. There we go. Now, anvils are very important because what I'll do now is I'll take three iron to make iron discs. Which I think may have given me more recipes in here, possibly. I don't know, it doesn't look like it ha Oh, there's the iron disc recipe. So, that's actually... This recipe thing will be helpful. So, Kira. I take these iron discs, and I take them to the anvil, and I can place them on the anvil. You see that? Yeah. I then can hammer them. Now I'm using a wooden hammer, so this is going to take forever. Because I, I made a wooden hammer for some reason. I should have made a stone hammer. But this will... Okay, I, I, I already cannot stand this wooden hammer. It's like I have... A bit of stone. Stone hammer. How do you make the hammers? So it's two sticks and then basically double-sided axe. But we don't need a lot of hammers. We only need like one at a time, really. Because we only have the one anvil. I know. And besides, this is only going to give us the bottom half of the Pokeball. Mm -hmm. So it's not super useful right this second. Do I right click it or left click it? Uh, you hold down left click. And see, then it'll slowly make a Pokeball bottom. Yeah. Which doesn't help us that much because we have no way of making tops. But it'll help us mm -hmm. eventually. Okay, we also got some silicone. I wonder what I can do with that. So unfortunately, we don't have like the too many items mod or something like that. Um, so currently, we're just having to roll with it. And I'll probably look up stuff on the wiki later. Apparently, Xerneas has spawned in a roofed forest biome. That could be yeah, anywhere, it's, it's, and I am not going to go searching for it. Is that a legendary? Yes, Xerneas is one of the legendary Pokemon. And I am not about to go looking for it right now. We need the red acorns to make the regular Pokeballs? Apricorn, and yes. Yes, that's what I meant. One of these trees out here, I think think this one is red apricorn. Okay. How long does it take to grow? I could not tell you the exact time frame. Uh -huh. um, 
I wish we... Oh, this is a boss. Okay, hello, Meowth. There's a boss Meowth here. If I could recommend something for you, I would say go back in the mine and find Diamond. Because I know there's a way to build a bench that lets you heal your Pokemon, but it requires Diamond. Oh, okay. I we, found an apricot blue tree. If you right click on it, it'll give you the apricorn. Yeah. And then you can bring it back. Blue is a color I don't have, so that's actually helpful. Yeah. Show all. Okay, like the hammers are in here, but apparently not everything has shown up in here, so I might have to use a wiki to look up some of the stuff. I wonder if you can make a hammer out of these, though. You can actually make a hammer out of these. Out of what? The gemstones. Oh yeah, that's not, that's not that common. No, it's not super surprising. But it does also mean we can make like color-coded gemstones tools. Like I knew you could make regular tools. I just didn't know that you could make, like, the hammer. So that should make things a bit easier. I'm going to go down to the mine after I check the... I'm actually going to check the wheat field real quick. Okay, that's a white one. That's a pink one. So I now know what two of the rows are. Because they've started growing their flowers. Now there will be Pokemon that when we defeat them. How do you plant them by the way? Uh, ap acorn things. Um, apricorns are planted kind of just like you might think. You just kind of put them on the ground. Okay. Um, you already have white. I do have white. Um, I know for a fact I have white, pink, and yellow. Because the yellow one just sprouted a bit. I think I have black planted, and I know I have a red one planted. I just don't know what row it is. Any apricorns you find, just bring back to the house and just put them in a chest. And I'll organize the apricorn garden later. For now, I am going to go into the mine and see if I can't find other useful materials. Like diamond and more iron. And hopefully more gemstones. And since Sobble is currently unconscious... Okay, then. That's lava. Oh, what are you? I have located a single amethyst.
Okay. Not sure if I should get rid of this water or keep it around. Mm. What with all of the lava everywhere. see some gold around the place but I'm not sure if gold is helpful more iron has been located what are you finding Kira I'm going down to you Okay. Oh, I think you are. If you reach the lava, you have gone too far ever so slightly. Hi! Up here. Behind you. Uh -huh. Go up the stairs and across the thing to find to reach me. Uh -huh. I was mining for diamond, like you are. That is a good thing, because we could use a healing bay back in the house. I just got a piece of a firestone. That's nice. Okay. Okay. I have no idea if any of the stuff I am getting will be useful. But I am gathering what I feel I can. As I have found lapis and some regular Minecraft emerald. You have an iron pick. I actually made a ruby pick. Okay. Was I able to mine your emerald? It was able to mine emerald. I'm okay. assuming it'll mine pretty much anything else too. Should mine diamond if I say what mine is, bro. Probably. I have unlocked new recipes for the recipe book, as I have just found a large. I say large, but. It's mostly just because redstone is the way it is. More, some iron and some silicone and a few different gemstones. Still no diamond. Yeah. 
Okay, that's lava. this bauxite I'm not sure what bauxite is for I've played a few other mod packs where bauxite makes steel but there shouldn't really be steel in this I'm pretty sure I just found some more bauxite I think I just found some gold. I'm not sure how useful gold will be either. But hey, everything helps, right? Now hopefully at some point we'll go out and we'll find a town somewhere and you can actually find trainers to battle and even buy stuff from towns including pokeballs and the like. Oh, a level 8 Ghastly. Ghastly is, in fact, one of my favorite Pokemon, especially when it fully evolves into Gengar. Okay, I feel like I've just hit, like, a freaking mother load of gold. Oh. Oh, a clink. I use floor fire shards. Oh, did you find a fire shard? Um, I found one, two, three, four. That's definitely useful. Fire shards can eventually be made after you get nine of them into a fire stone, which can be used to make some certain Pokemon evolve. Yeah. There might be more, but it's just the ones I saw. I'm finding so much freaking like redstone and a bunch of gold and I'm passing all of it up because I'm like, why? I, I, I don't think I need this stuff. Oh.
more gold, more ruby. Found some more crystals. Some more firestone, more iron all over the place. I'm real. Oh, I think I just saw a diamond. Diamond indeed. Now for the much harder task of figuring out how to get out of here. I am now officially starving, which is not something that I am particularly happy about, because as long as I'm taking the damage, I will probably have a hard time staying on platforms. Oh, okay, cool. Apparently, whatever mode we have it set to, starving only gets us down to half health. I think it might be just the mod. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's try this another way. I don't know about you, but I'm on my way back home. I'm not. I'm collecting stuff. Uh, well, I've got diamond and... Well, I just found the staircase to get out of here, so... I'm taking my chance. I don't know if that will be useful later on. Huh? I'm getting gold because that might be useful later on. I've got gold too. And I think I just killed another Geodude. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> Pokemon can respawn. <laughs> Hopefully. No, I know they can. They, they can spawn just as much as all the other creatures. And that's a plusle. That was unexpected. Okay. There we go. Plant up a few of the apricorns that have finished growing. Oh, also my pick broke, so that's another reason I returned home.
iron lore casing. Interesting. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to start by cooking up a bauxite. And as much iron as I can. Okay, so bauxite is aluminum. if you can plant these berries. Okay, so I guess... I'm guessing you didn't drop off your stuff from your runaround. I dropped off the blue acorn. Oh, okay. And then the chest with the other acorns. We j I just unlocked a bunch of new recipes, which should be helpful. Okay, we got the fossil cleaner, which is nice, but not what I'm looking for right now. Whoops, sneezed there. That was unintentional. Okay, the healer. Finally. Four iron, four aluminum, and a diamond. That will not be that difficult. Seeing as I already have what I need to make one. Okay, that should give me what all that's needed there. Three, four, place the diamond and perfect. We now have our own healer. This actually I'm gonna put it over here. Boom. There we go, and my Sobble is back to full capability. PC will also be of use. Redstone lamp. I don't actually know how to make that. So you have enough diamonds and you already made it? Yep, I already made it. Okay. Okay, I now have a piston, which is for later on when I want to make an auto hammer. Because according to... The mechanical anvil uses a furnace, a sticky piston, and some iron bars.
that's enough iron bars. So all I need now is a slime ball, really. And I don't know what Pokemon drops that right off the bat, so that'll be something I work on later. Probably the whatever the creature's called. The trash can. I mean, there's a lot of different Pokemon. Like, they all will drop different things. Okay, empty my inventory. There is a Meltan inside the house. That's interesting. I'm going to go check on the garden. Little tin Jigglypuff. I could probably take out that little Meltan. Probably only do these four. Nah. Make it five. That's fine. Make them five long. Nah, probably six because it's like three. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. There's that Meltan. I'm going to defeat it. Okay, so it knows Harden. That's going to be a pain in the butt. It knows sh Thunder Shock. That was not expected. I am not going to be defeating this thing anytime soon. I don't know. Maybe Kira can defeat it with his Chimchar later. Yeah, maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Because um, I know Meltan is a Steel-type Pokemon. You're looking for a Ghastly, right? I do enjoy Ghastlies, but I, I'm not one, okay. looking for anything. There's one in the cave if you want it. Maybe more. Might not be a gas, it might be the evolution form. Looks like a ghastly. And my Sobble got nuked. Go ahead and heal Sobble back up thanks to our new little heal bay. And let's just leave that Melmetal alone for now. Uh, glass pane would not be that difficult to get. Just six glass. Hmm. People may be yelling at us, get the infuser. I don't know what it does, but I could actually build this. Okay, let's see if we got any new interesting recipes. Now that I've got gold. Mm, looks like the clock is the only real interesting one. The ghastly is a level eight. I think I'll try to craft an infuser. It may be useless, but who knows. I don't know what it does. 
obviously this is episode one, so I haven't done as much research as I plan on doing later. Try to figure out what Pokemon drops slime balls and the like. That should get me almost everything that we need other than sand. Go out and see if I can't find some sand. Oh, we apparently have sand right next to us. Okay. Probably have to try going to the nether eventually. Freaking level yeah. 5 melting is paid to put. Hmm. A level 2 ratata. You are a little bit annoying. And that's one less ratata. And now I know water gun. And apparently ratatas drop rotten flesh. That's not useful in any way. Okay, I have an extra line of pink. That's good to know. I will have to get rid of that. Try to take on this little P-Dove and get completely destroyed. Okay. That's what I get for taking on a higher level than me. At least I have Water Gun now. Melting could be a bit easier to fight. That should at least set a spawn point, just in case. Oh, I'm an idiot. What you do? I made a bunch of glass panes so that I could make bottles and then found out afterwards that glass panes aren't what you use for bottles. Yep. Grab some more sand, cook up. See if we have any more stone in the chest to cook that up, up with it. <laughs> now, Kira, would you consider yourself a big Pokemon fan? Uh, depends. 
Uh, mediocre. I have been playing Pokemon since way back in... I sound really old when I say it like this, but like way back in the olden days. Back with Pokemon Yellow version. Uh, the only Pokemon I played besides the app is Pixelmon. I have played quite a few Pokemon games. Well, I played some on the Wii, but I didn't really play play. I just battled with friends using their Pokemon. It happens. Okay, I now have an infuser. I'll try this, see if this works. Okay, I have no clue how this works. I'll figure it out in between episodes. Uh -huh. There will probably a little be a little bit of play in between episodes as well, but I'll try to limit that as much as I can. But sometimes th some episodes will be me just grinding Pokemon. And I mean... You don't want to watch that over and over again. I'll try to, at the very least, record some highlights of anything in particular that I find that I, if I find any like special super Pokemon or anything like that. But before I go doing something like that, I mean. Like, that, that, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, I now have no duplicate trees and a spot for the blue one. If you need to heal your Pokemon up, it's over on the opposite side of the room from the chests. Okay. I can charge level 7. Nice. Uh, oh, I guess that melting got out. Okay. Uh, put your stone... In the large chest beside the furnace. Cook stone will be very important later. Yeah. Now, you're a big Minecraft player. You've played quite a bit of Minecraft. Yeah. I'm going to sound like a complete noob, even though I've been around since Minecraft was in beta. But I don't remember how to make a redstone lamp. It requires glowstone and red, which we do not have. Oh, glowstone dust, which we don't have. Okay. Time to get some obsidian then. Luckily, I know where there is a bunch of obsidian. Yes. Oh, this Mareep wants to fight. Mareep are electric types, so this could go really, really badly. 
Wham. But if I beat it, I'll probably get another level. Or it could just thunder shock me into oblivion. Okay. I have That's no luck. That's from Discord for a little bit. Okay. So, it seems like it's just me now, guys. Oh, we actually have like a full-blown Pokedex. Awesome. So when we defeat Pokemon, they get added to our Pokedex. That's quite useful, actually. Okay, I did not think that through. Oh, there's some obsidian over here. Are you back? Hello? Okay, so Kira's back. I was going to ask you, how do you send out your Pokemon? The R button. Okay. How do you level up them? Mostly by fighting other Pokemon. How do you evolve them? That depends on the Pokemon. Most Pokemon will evolve once they reach the required level. Chimchar. Chimchar is a um, start starter. He'll evolve at a specific level. Oh, uh, okay. And you pick R to pick him up? Or? All you have to do is get him there. Uh -huh. I was asking because I had a fire stone. I didn't know if I needed that. No, that won't evolve a starter. Okay. Okay, now then. This will give me nine. So, did we get any red? Any what? Red. Red what? The red acorns. Oh, yes. I've got some trees growing. I think I have three trees now. Okay. <laughs> My 
Oh, How do you make other color ball pokeballs? Um, the way you make pokeballs is actually based on the number of apricorns of each color that you use. So, for example, ultra balls are yellow and black apricorns. I believe yeah. two black, one yellow. Okay. But I don't know if the 100% on that. And is red one red or one white, or two red one white? Actually, a red one is three red. You said two black? Two black, one yellow. One yellow. You know where I crafted it? Where are you? I'm out wandering the place to see if I can find apricorns or whatever they're called. Apricorns, yeah, that's what I'm Well, you can craft it right here at the house. Do I need a crafting table? Yes. Okay. Ooh, lightning. Finally. Yep, that was definitely for lightning. Besides, I'm probably going to need your help here in a minute. Yep. I'm just looking for apricorns in the wild. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. This can either go really well or really badly. Also, things might lag a bit. Yeah, I, I jumped back for a little bit. But that's... I need more Okay. So far, so good. Okay, there's a Geodude here. Okay, so this area just has more Pokemon. Of varying types, including Yamask. I wonder if it's Galarian version or not. But I didn't bring a pickaxe, so I can't dig up anything, and I can't do anything, so I'm a little bit screwed. Oh well. At least it appears to be safe here for the most part. Hello, Ekans. Mm, that looks like a Houndor. Oh, Houndor wins to fight. Houndor is a fire type. I am a water type. Goodbye, Houndor. Yay, you defeated Houndor. And that gave me some useful stuff, actually. Okay, I'm going to go back through the portal. Now that I know it's safe here, I can bring stuff with me. That's a Yamask. I want to check out that Yamask. 
That one looks to be a Galarian Yamask. That's actually really cool. Do we have a green apricot yet? We do, yes, but we could always use more. It might lag again. Or not. I guess it only lagged because it was the first time creating the alternate dimension. Okay, cool. I just defeated a really low-level trainer and gained a, li a little bit of cash, I guess. Oh, I have $320 now. Awesome. What, what is the X and Z, by the way, of the house? Um, minus 27, 70, 280, I think. I think I see a legendary. Uh, I do not know if it is a legendary. Even if it is, I don't recommend fighting it, because it'll pro it will probably nuke you. So what was the X and Y? Um, if my readings are correct, I'm at the house, and I'm currently at minus 26, 70, 279. So 270 for the LZ? I guess. I don't know how to it read this thing. Below the map. It shows you below the map. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's the Y. Whoa. I just got attacked by a Ratata. Bind. You said the X? Uh, the X is minus 7 at where I'm currently at. And the Z is 229, and the Y is 77. And I'm going back through the nether portal. What the? What's? Oh, that might be because of because we're close to a legendary. I see a green green wormhole like thing. You know what the green wormhole thing is? Um, that should be a portal. I forget what they're called. Okay. You have to have, like, specific stuff to enter those portals, though. Okay. I don't know how I got so far away from the house. I'm not entirely sure on that one, either. That's okay. So how much red apricorns do you need to do the regular Pokeballs? Three per uh, set of Pokeballs. And which one's your red hole? Which one's the red line? Um, let's see here. This one's pink. I believe this is the red one. Right here, how do you plan it? 
You just right click on the ground. Okay. I'm going to attempt to make a Pokeball. How do I use the recipe for them? For what? To make the Pokeballs. Oh, how many apricorns do you have? I have two black, one yellow. So, let me see them real quick. Okay, so first... I toss them in the furnace. Oh, you have to smell them, that's right. Not bad. This will be good for the viewers to watch. Okay, place that one there, that one, and that one, and I now have a lid for the Ultra Ball. Place that there. Get out my hammer. Accidentally hit the wrong button. Hammer it down. There we go. Now I can go in here, get rid of that. Place that there, that there. Make a button first, then place those. And here you go. I do not claim that Ultra Ball because obviously you got the pieces to it. But now the Ultra Ball has been added to the list of commands. Is there a way plants grow faster? Um, well, bone meal. Okay, because I'm pretty sure I got a bone from something. We got two bones. Might be worthwhile to get some red growing. Six. Okay, there we go. Okay. We got I made I put seven red apricorns grow. Okay. Why do I hear drum beats? I am hammering. I am working on something. It just rang your music. Oh. Okay, now then. There. I don't know everything that just happened there, but oh, I put that in a. Eh, I guess it's an okay spot. It it looks, un. It's not great, but it's okay. I received a Porygon leg for doing that. That is weird.
Okay. We now have a PC inside our house, so if we get more Pokemon, we'll be okay. Well, let's see. I know, we're nowhere near getting more Pokemon right now. Well, that's not what I said. I said that I got killed. I was not expected to die. And I finally have enough food to get me back to full health and everything. That will be nice. Yep. Don't want to that guy. He's... There we go. <laughs> Well, guys, I think that's a decent start for right now. So I'm going to sign off for the time being. I might play some more of this off camera. I might not. I might just try to figure out some of the stuff. But for now, see you next time. And I don't know. How... Have a nice day and got to catch them all, I guess.